future looks exciting and positive for the IT industry. So says NASCOM, the IT industry's apex body that released its growth estimates for 2015, fiscal 2015. And it expects Indian IT exports to grow anywhere between 13 to 15% in that period, topping up nearly about $100 billion. Joining us now is R. Chandrasekhar, uh, president at NASCOM. Chandrasekhar, many thanks for joining us on Bloomberg. You've given us a growth forecast of about 13 to 15%. Take us through the basis of this optimism, because most companies that we speak to seem extremely optimistic about the road ahead, at least in this calendar year. Well, uh, the uh, growth uh, forecast is based on a generally uh, positive outlook, uh, based on you know rising trends in the global uh, GDP growth rate, rising trend in the US uh, GDP growth, rising trend in uh, IT uh, spends and a rising trend in global sourcing as a component of the IT spend. In fact, the global sourcing component is growing twice as fast as the IT spend itself, which in turn is growing faster than the rate of growth of GDP. So overall, I think uh, these factors uh, do indicate uh, a much more positive uh, trend. Uh, secondly, the advent of the new technologies is also uh, you know, the harbinger of uh, many changes in the way different businesses and organizations are uh, run and managed. And in making this transition, many of them are looking for uh, not just services, mm. but uh, partners sure. who can help them to manage this transition smoothly and effectively. Sure. And that's what the Indian companies are increasingly doing. Mm. So I think that is the uh, overall basis uh, on which these projections have been made. Mr. Chandrasekhar, you know, the IT industry has also benefited largely uh, last year, largely from, from, from the falling currency, which has depreciated quite a bit, and you saw that kick up for most companies. How do you think companies are positioned uh, to handle cross-currency fluctua fluctuations? Well, I think that, uh, you know, uh, uh, the companies and the industry in general would uh, like to see a greater degree of uh, stability in the currency because volatility is something which uh, creates a lot of uncertainty and that's certainly not uh, very good for, uh, for business. So we are certainly uh, hoping that going forward we will not uh, witness the kind of uh, volatility that was experienced uh, uh, during some parts of the current year. Uh, so I think that is uh, one uh, uh, major uh, aspect that uh, needs to be emphasized. In 2014, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar, do you believe companies will have the power, firepower to grab the large $100 billion plus deals out there in the marketplace? How would you see, what is NASCOM's view on the, on the large deal pipeline? Yes, if you see, if you, if you, if you look at uh, the uh, statistics, uh, which we had put out a little earlier in the press conference. Uh, not only is the size of the revenue from uh, large uh, companies, uh, that has increased by 27% over the last uh, three to four years. Uh, and the size of the uh, individual uh, deals also has increased. So both of these are trends which are clearly borne out by the, by the data that's coming in.